The addition principle for equality also holds for inequalities, which means as long as you add or subtract the same quantity to both sides of the inequality, you have maintained an equivalent statement. Let's see how it works. To solve this inequality, we need to eliminate the plus 4 to get the variable by itself. So either subtract 4 or add a negative 4 to both sides of the inequality. Simplifying leads us to an equivalent inequality statement, y is greater than 3. Graphically, we are looking for all values greater than 3 but not equal to, so we'll put a parenthesis at 3 and our line indicating our solution with an arrow on it pointing towards positive infinity. The equivalent interval notation is smallest value first, largest value, which is infinity, recognizing that infinity never ends. We are not including 3, so we have a parenthesis to indicate that and infinity never ends, so we have a parenthesis on that as well. Here we have an equivalent interval notation for our solution. In this next inequality, we can follow the equation solving procedures to solve inequalities. And in this problem, we have variables on both sides. One option would be to subtract a 5x from both sides. Simplifying leaves us with 5 plus 1x greater than or equal to 2. Solving for the variable, the only thing left is to subtract a 5. Fives cancel out, leaving our 1x greater than or equal to and simplifying a negative 3. Graphically, we are including negative 3 on our solution here, so to indicate that, we'll use a bracket. We want x values that are greater than or equal to, so our solution will be indicated by the line with the arrow, indicating it continues towards positive infinity. And the interval notation equivalence, again, start with the smallest value first, largest value. We are including negative 3, so we use a bracket, and parenthesis never ends, so we use a parenthesis.